In areas where the sun mostly radiates horizontally, it is usually a cold regions and therefore the sun's radiation is not strong enough and the solar panels will have little output power. This video introduces a method that increases the output power of solar panels in these areas to more than double. This method is only suitable for cold areas and should not be used in hot places. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for accompanying me. With respect, Ibrahim Hashemi. Hello to all clean energy enthusiasts. Welcome to the Fixed Focus program. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. In this program, I want to talk about increasing the efficiency of solar panels in cold regions. In these areas, the power of the sun's radiation is very low, and with a cheap method, you can get more power from the solar panel. In two videos, we talked about the panel rotation system in a very efficient and cheap way. In this rotation system, which can be made in uniaxial and biaxial form, the solar panel can be placed in the right direction. If you want to see this video, go to the address above. With this rotation, the power of the solar panels can be increased between 15 and 40 percent during the day. In this video, we assume that the rotation system of the panel is biaxial, which means that the panel is always perpendicular to the sun radiation. And the panel can move in any solar angle and has a two-axis tracker. And this means that the sunlight will always be perpendicular to the panel. If you have noticed, the sun's radiation does not have the same power in all parts of the Earth. Suppose this is the Earth. In the areas where the sun's radiation is perpendicular to the Earth's surface, the radiation power is dense, and in the areas that are close to the pole, the radiation density is low. In places where the sun's radiation has a low density, the air is colder and the panels have less output power. In this figure, a larger surface is covered with the same density as the smaller equatorial surface. In order to increase the density of solar radiation on the panels in these areas, we can use mirrors. Of course, we can use a large number of panels at a high cost, which will not be cost effective. But using mirrors and not necessarily glass mirrors, the cost can be reduced from two to three times. Okay, let's do a simple test in front of the sun. Now two hours have passed since the sunrise and the sun is almost in the horizon. I connected this 10 watt solar panel directly to an ammeter. You can see that if the panel is perpendicular to the sun, the output amperage is 0.53 amperes. I have a flat mirror here and I put the mirror at a certain angle next to the panel. You can see that the output with mirror reflection is about 0.76 amps, which means 0.23 more. Of course, this panel has been working for about 10 years and is considered old. Let's go to continue the program. You saw the solar panel test with mirror reflection in front of the sunlight and if we assume the light radiation to the panel is 1, the light reflected from the mirror is 0.5, why? Because the surface that the mirror creates in front of the sunlight to cover the entire panel is half of the panel surface. In this picture, a mirror at the same level as the panel with an angle that we will discuss later can cover the entire surface of the solar panel. Of course, like in this figure, we can place mirrors on the four sides of the panel, and each side creates a reflection on the solar panel by half of the panel surface.
And in this figure, if we consider the panel surface as one unit and each surrounding mirror as half unit, so in total, three times the radiation can be applied to the solar panel. And even the corners of the solar panel can be mirrored, which will increase the radiation more than three times. So we can place four mirrors with exact and equal dimensions of the solar panel on the four sides of the panel. The most important thing is that this method should only be used in very cold areas and areas where the sun is horizontal. Even using a mirror in hot and tropical areas makes the panel hotter and reduces the output power. In this graph you can see that heat will decrease the output voltage and it compares three different temperatures. In the method of using the mirror, the solar panel must rotate biaxially. Therefore, in the two-axis rotation system, the panel is perpendicular to the sun in any position it is placed. Therefore, the mirrors can be connected to the solar panel structure under a certain angle. In the figure you see, with a little precision, you can get the angle between the panel and the mirror. So the angle we fix the mirror next to the panel is 120 degrees. Well, I have prepared a mirror the size of the solar panel. And on both sides and under it, I have attached two metal straps to the mirror at an appropriate angle. And I want to put the mirror here. Well, I'll take the panel apart. It came out easily. Now I screw the metal straps in the embedded place. OK connection done. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that the angle between the solar panel and the mirror is 120 degrees. Pay attention that a bigger mirror has no effect on increasing the radiation and it is better to be exactly the same size as the panel itself, its reflection covers the whole solar panel. It should be noted that the fixed panel and fixed mirror are not very effective and if it does not create a shadow on the panel, it may be useful in some hours of the day. In this picture you can see the fixed mirror and the fixed solar panel. Now I will put the panel in place along with the mirror. You can see that the panel can move up and down by pulling the ropes, which are actually the towing wires. Of course, more force is needed for vertical movement, but since the movement of the sun is slow, this can be done with a suitable gearbox. It should be noted that in the areas where we use the mirrored panel, the sun is usually on the horizon and the vertical movement is much less. Look at the angle calculation again and with a little precision, you will find that the shadow AC, which is the length of the mirror, is equal to the size of AO1. Therefore, each mirror adds 0.5 units of solar radiation to the surface of the panel. 
Therefore, with two mirrors, the radiation can be doubled. And with four mirrors, the radiation can be tripled. Of course, instead of a glass mirror, a polished aluminum sheet should be used, which is both lighter and more resistant. Various methods have been used to increase the light radiation on the solar panel, which you see in the picture. One of these methods is the use of lenses. Well, I don't think it is a special case and I will say once again that this method is only for cold regions. In the figure you can see, you can see the power of solar radiation in different countries. Countries with lower radiation power are certainly in areas where the sun has relatively horizontal radiation, although not necessarily. Therefore, the use of mirror panels in cold areas will not cause intense heating of the panel. I hope this video was suitable. Until the next program goodbye.